right. Hey, uh, you know, we're all going to grind on Thursday, mm -hmm. and many potlucks will have too much food. And that means leftovers. Yeah, and while we would love to be able to call Uncle Sam over to the house, not everyone has the hookups like John. So Tanya visited Zippy's to get some tips. Countdown to Thanksgiving is on. We are here to help. First of all, if you need to get a turkey and some sides, we know what to do. And also, if you want to think about leftovers, get a head start on what you're going to do. I'm here with Trevor Luke at Zippy's. And this is a timely thing because as people have Thanksgiving, they're going to have some leftovers. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to make a turkey chowder and a turkey melt. You know, two perfect good kind of combos to go together. All right, that sounds good because people can, it can be over turkey after Thanksgiving, yeah. but these are fun ways to add fresh. What do we need to do for the chowder? Yeah, so we'll just turn on our pot first. And, and this is simple for someone to do at home, just some basic ingredients yeah, we should basic. all have. So we got some butter here. All right. We'll, we'll throw in the butter. Do you want me to help with that? I can stir it yeah. or do I need to do anything? Yeah, you can just stir it a little okay. bit. Okay, we'll we'll give it a little bit. A little we just hot. turned it on. Okay, we'll let it heat up a little bit. We'll pour a little more in there. Okay. And then let that heat up for a little bit. Okay. Then we have our celery. Mm -hmm. Our onions, and we'll cook that for a little. You want to saute it, basically. Yeah. You dice it and yeah. saute it. All dice right. Dice it, yeah. Sorry, I pre diced it, so easy for us. But. Okay. So we can just keep giving it a little stir in there. Sure. Turn it up a little bit. And is this something you've actually done after Thanksgiving? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not just making it up for us. No, we're no, away. I okay. did not. <laughs> well, I wanted to know. <laughs> Tried and true. All right, we got that going a little bit. You want to go ahead and pour yeah, that in? We'll keep it going. A little bit. Mm -hmm. And this is a nice size stock pot. Should you do something big? Just, I guess it depends yeah. on how much leftover yeah. you have. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. And then okay. we'll throw in some celery over there. That's good. You probably have some from your stuffing. Yeah. Similar ingredients. After that's cooked down for a little, we'll throw in some flour. All-purpose flour? All-purpose flour. This okay. is just to make a little roux to, thicken the, to help thicken the soup. Mm -hmm. So we'll incorporate all those ingredients well. And then after that, we'll throw in some heavy cream. Oh, there we go. And some chicken stock. Mm. Nice spin on chowder. We yeah. used to like a clam chowder. Yeah. All right. And then we'll throw this in. You need a sous chef over here? Maybe, maybe. You're doing a good job, so <laughs> Not we'll impressed see. on my skills we'll yet. I will work for Zippy's Chili and the Korean chicken. <gasps> OK. And how long should this take to really get to the consistency you want? You know, We'll bring it up to a simmer, and then maybe about 15 to 30 minutes it'll take. All right. And then after all that's in there, we'll throw in some corn. Okay. So the corn will add a nice chunky texture mm -hmm. in there. Interesting. All right, and of course we have the turkey. <laughs> yeah. Um, just tell me when to stop, because we can add as much as you want. You may as well go for it, right? All of it. Okay. There we go. This is great. And would you pair this with the turkey melt? Yeah. Okay. All right. That looks like it's good. So we'll good. let that cook down, okay. and then we'll start cooking the turkey melt over here. The perfect complement for the turkey chowder, the turkey melt. Yeah. So now that that's the chowder is cooking, we'll start our turkey melt. Okay. So we'll just butter one side of the Simple. bread. Simple. Just like we're making a grilled cheese. Nice. Just American cheese. Yeah. American cheese, um, provolone, whatever you want. Mm-hmm. And we'll get the other side. All right. Easy. Butter that up. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Mm-hmm. And do you need to heat the turkey beforehand or no? No. no. Okay. You can. And then you can put as much turkey as you want. All right. Depending on how much leftovers you have. <laughs> True. So we'll just load it up on there. Perfect. Oh, yeah, and you do just one side? Yeah, yeah. just mm -hmm. one side. Okay. And then we'll let that cook for maybe about two to three minutes. All right, and our turkey chowder's looking good. I'll yeah. let you do the honors of serving yeah. it. So now that this is almost done, we'll give it a final mm -hmm. stir over here. Oh, that looks great. So you added a lot of nice turkey and corn. Beautiful. Perfect in places, especially where you get cold climate. Nice to have yeah. warm comfort food like that. All right, while well, we let that do its job there, can people still get the Zippy's turkey dinner? Yes, they can. They're going to have to go in person or call 973-0880. Hey, I don't want to burn my tongue. Here we go. Excellent. Great way to use your turkey leftovers after Thanksgiving and the turkey melt. Yep. And then we'll just close this.
Mahala. Happy Thanksgiving and happy leftovers. Thank you, Trevor and the Zippy's team for having us out. Thank you. I really like being able to come up with something like that. I know. Oh my gosh, this looks good. Doesn't that looks so good. We were saying during the package, I feel like I could smell the chowder. No, oh, yeah, you can. I can't. It's it's that's just Julie was eating. That's just because you're not wearing a belt. Yeah. <laughs> he asked me earlier, how do you forget a belt? And I said like this. Huh. Oh, forgot a belt. You are out of <laughs> I'm your serious. mind. That's what Mikey. Reenactment.